Okay, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square. It's Wednesday, June 29th, 2022, and what a difference today makes. Yesterday, for the Ghislaine Maxwell sentencing, where I'm standing now was full of TV trucks, and across the street was of people lined up for the four-hour sentencing, which resulted in a 20-year sentence. More on that in a moment. Today, also at 11 a.m., the sentencing of Lev Parnass, uh, of fraud guarantee fame. He wants time served. We're going to be covering that one as well. But you see, I actually, I was surprised to find a lone photographer out front. There's nobody here. We'll be covering that. We'll also be covering, there's an upcoming trial of Trevor Milton. He's the one who started a electric truck company called Nikola. And then he rolled a truck with no motor up a hill and, and got many people to invest in it, according to the government, of course. Today, he may get his trial postponed, but if only for 30 days or maybe seven. <clears throat> there was new charges filed about Utah. In any event, also, the Josh Schulte trial continues in a sealed courtroom, but we do our best to report it, and you'll find that online as well. Now, as to Ghislaine Maxwell, we've read it, we live-tweeted it, many people have written about it. I just want to emphasize that one of the victims that was allowed to speak at the sentencing, Elizabeth Stein, came up by train from Philly. She said that once she was lured into that world, she was trafficked to Jeffrey and Ghislaine's friends for three years. But when the sentence was handed down, it was basically said that Ghislaine trafficked women to Jeffrey. But there was more than Jeffrey. Well, you figure it out. Well, I'm going to turn to the United Nations now because that's where this much, many of it leads. Ghislaine Maxwell had a press conference in the UN. Ghislaine Maxwell had a UN Antonio Guterres representative on the board of Terramar. And yesterday, during the sentencing, they had something about Ukraine. They've accomplished nothing on it, essentially. Guterres is, is gallivanting now in the Caribbean. But Norway's ambassador, Mana Yule, spoke very convincingly about Ukraine. There's only one problem. She and her husband, Terry Rod Larson, took a personal loan from Jeffrey Epstein, $130,000, and they've never explained it. I put in written questions, they didn't answer it. I'm banned from the UN, no answers from Norway. Great, great fans of transparency, they. Also, Epstein, in any event, I'm going to go in, inner city press, you'll find it all online.